Brothers and sisters, I invite you to join me in listening, in listening to what the pandemic has come to tell. It had to happen. It seems it had to happen in a nation saturated with ultra-processed food. It had to happen in a nation so obsessed that even in the midst of the pandemic, they are lined up for tacos, burgers, and fries. In video after video, we've blended living greens, including parsley, lettuce, chard, and kale into green drinks. They are alive and vibrant. You can feel the enlivening when you partake of a green drink. You're standing on the shoulders of giants, like Dr. Kirshner, who at 82 years of age burst out of the drear of the 60s with his nature's healing grasses. He created a green drink consisting of mint, lamb's quarters, alfalfa, dandelion, malva, chard, and kale. He administered this to his patients with wonderful results. There's Victoria Butenko, who, tra who traveled, who traveled th uh, throughout California and Oregon promulgating green drinks. They were preceded long before by Professor Arnold Ehret. He came to California from Germany in the early 1920s with his classic book, Musil The Mucilus Diet Healing System. He launched here the live food movement. Both books, by the way, are available on Amazon. Professor Eret begins by saying, every disease, no matter what, is a clogging up of the entire pipe system of the human body. This realization is bedrock. We have come to realize that wrongful feeding is the prime cause of illness. May we suggest that we start from that premise, that we reclaim ourselves, our vitality, our bodies by beginning with a cleansing. Yes, a fast on water. After all, Fasting is the royal road to vibrant good health. When one comes off a fast properly, one feels rejuvenated and recreated. So think of it, brothers and sisters. Think of it. A day of just drinking water. Can you handle it? A day of a national day of fasting a day of contrition, a day of renewal, a day of regeneration, a day of cleansing, a day of just drinking water where a third of the people are obese. And maybe a day of whole foods, just fruits and vegetables, no snacks, no soft drinks, no takeout. Recall that ultra-processed food is on the fast track to obesity. The next stop is diabetes, and after that, life-threatening illness. Imagine also a day a day of vigorous exercise. Imagine 
Every park, every playground, every schoolyard filled with Americans rejoicing in calisthenics, stretching and moving to the sound of music. And why not then proclaim a day of planting trees? Every American planting a tree. What can be more life-giving? What better way to stabilize the climate and revitalize this American Earth? The winter months are just ahead. That's the ideal, the ideal time to plant a tree. What could be more organic? Let us agree that you can do anything. We've reached that point. You took this country out of the depths of the Great Depression and within a twinkling you perform miracles of wartime production. For example, in 1940, President Roosevelt shocked Congress when he proposed building 50,000 aircraft a year. In 1944, the nation made almost double that number. Ford's massive Willow Run bomber factory alone produced nearly one plane an hour. By 1944, America led the world in arms production, making more than enough to fulfill its needs and at the same time provided its allies with critically needed supplies. You can do anything. You can lead us through the cleansing and regeneration we so desperately need. You will get us out of the downward spiral. You will build us, you will build here a garden for the American spirit. Thank you indeed. Your comments and suggestions are always most welcome.